I have got seven things you should never do inside Minecraft because they completely break the game. It's dark right now because I just destroyed the sun. I'm putting everything on the line for you here, folks. So click that subscribe button to save me. Only like 13% of you guys are subscribed to the channel. Almost 14% now. Let's get us to 15% or above. These are seven things we should never do in Minecraft, which means don't follow my example. Let me be the test subject. Like a science experiment over here. I've done a little bit of traveling to gather the bare minimum that we need to get started. As you can see in a regular furnace, we can toss a diamond in there and we can put a coal in there and as you'd expect absolutely nothing happened great video Bari thanks for the information however in this world we can actually destroy our diamond we could go into a blast furnace and take the diamond and blast it with some coal and that is going to give us drum roll please timing was off timing was off we've got ourselves diamond dust and this is no going back we cannot turn this diamond dust back into anything we went one direction here folks but we are gonna need that diamond dust a little bit later before we use it though we've got to build ourselves a premium version of tnt that you should never use all right, never use this TNT. But the way it works is we drop a TNT in the center, surround it with diamonds, and then drop some coal in the corners. I definitely just reversed that. Put the diamonds in the corners and the coals in the center. And we get ourselves a bedrock TNT. Now you never ever ever want to craft this bedrock TNT because just like the name states, bedrock TNT, this thing will destroy bedrock and send you falling to your doom. No instructions needed, says it right there in the title. But also we can set this thing down, get a lever out, and then set this bad boy off with a lever, get some distance, and boom! It also turns some of the surrounding blocks into bedrock. That being said, let's get a couple of these and do the exact thing I just told you guys not to do, ever. Okay, we made it, we made it. I'm almost out of oxygen down here, but I gotta show you guys. Oh gosh, I'm a little nervous. Okay, uh, run this way, up, up, up. Good, 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 that's our escape path. All right, here it goes, three, two, one, light it, come back. Watch it from up here, safely. All of the bedrock down, Okay. Uh, let's go down even farther, uh, just for the kicks of it. Gather some of this bedrock up. I want to blow through the ground here, guys. Place down our titties. Take our lever down. There's our escape path, hopefully. Make sure I don't get murdered on the way out. All right, here it goes. Light it. Quickly, 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 quickly. Oh! What? That one didn't work. Why didn't that one work? We got a bug! That was my last bedrock TNT! Ooh, okay, we made it back with some oxygen. Fresh air all around us, we're good to go. Or are we? We're gonna take it up a notch for this third action using the bedrock that we got from the bedrock TNT. Inside of the blast furnace, we can use this diamond dust to be able to solidify that bedrock or break it down. I don't, depends on which way you look at it. Take a bedrock, toss it in the blast furnace with one diamond dust, and the diamond is gone forever. Is it worth it? I don't know. You guys are gonna have to be the judge of that because this is things you should never do in Minecraft. And we get ourselves a bedrock remnant. And we're gonna need a lot of it. So let's gather up supplies. Seems that we've run out of fuel. Quickly, hurry, make more fuel. We are going to need a total of eight bedrock remnants to start with. And once we've got eight bedrock remnants, we're gonna go into the crafting table. We need to place one of our portal blocks in there, the obsidian, and we're going to surround it with the bedrock remnants all the way around. And we get ourselves mysterious obsidian. That doesn't sound too safe, to be honest. This is the part where I'm going in blind. 
I have absolutely no idea, except we need to craft a portal out of it, so get more. Back over to the blast furnace, place that in there, start loading up bedrock in there. And of course, we're gonna need some extra obsidian to go with. We're making a tasty, tasty, tasty meal here. All kinds of food in my belly. And by food, I mean portals. And by all kinds, I mean one. And as we're waiting for that stuff to get started, we're gonna start crafting these blocks, as many as we can at a time. Let's see what we can get. Ooh, perfect guess. Few more to go. Slowly keep this process rocking and rolling. Oh, it's such a waiting game. But it's supposed to be worth it or not worth it. I don't know what, what, what the correct terminology is. Get this portal beginning to get built out here. Alrighty, the final touch is upon us. Get down the last of the mysterious place. Place down, lay, lay it all down. And now do the thing that I have no idea what it's going to do. Light that, oh gosh, what in the world? Whoa, 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 hold on. It just opened a portal where everything started. All those mobs are, what? Huh? It literally created a portal to the nether and they're all coming out after me? Don't make me abandon my foothold. I'll fight them off. What? Okay, 100% do not ever craft that portal. That took so long to make and it's just full of mobs from the nether. There's no way I survive. I am not built right now to take this pig on or whatever that thing is. I don't go to the nether very much. I'm not that good. I'll fight him one more time. Come on, bring it on, Junior. What you got, buddy? Uh, no, 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 no. Come on. What? Okay, so that didn't work out as planned, as you could probably see. But I'm about to raise an army. Don't try this yourself, but we have to do it to take down the nether. We've got here a little bit of nether rack that spawned when we put up the portal off in the distance where no mobs are coming after us yet, so we're safe for now. I'm gonna surround this nether rack with this fence here so that uh, what I put inside cannot get out. Let's go with that. Maybe open this up a little bit or actually let's just quickly replace it with a gate there. Perfect. Now watch this. Take some eggs from some chickens and if we toss the eggs onto the nether rack, it will spawn a chicken from the egg. This is not your average everyday oven cooktop that you're cooking some boiled eggs in or uh, sunny side up, however you prefer it. This is nether eggs, baby. Toss the egg down, I'm a little nervous. This could get wild. It might leg out my computer, so. If uh, the video ends here, it's because my computer broke. Ready and throw the egg. And chicken spawn. Close the gate and another chicken spawn. Every time an egg lands, oh, they're doubling. Oh, wait. Uh, they're multiplying exponentially. Oh my word. That is a lot of chickens. Do we need to let some out? Maybe we should let some out. You guys can leave. Don't keep spawning on the nether rack. They keep, guys, get out of there. Stop spawning. As long as they stay on the nether rack, it's gonna just keep going exponentially. All right, we're gonna have ourselves a little bit of a problem here. So I guess the only thing that I can do is go through. I'm sorry, I gotta just, Take you, I gotta take you out, take you out. Or I, the better way would be to take out the ones on the nether rack. Sayonara, and hey, don't you step on that nether rack, buddy. Hey, don't you think about it. Hey, get out of here, run. They're not spawning anymore, we're safe. And also, I don't think this army is gonna be very useful. Though it is large in numbers, the skill set might not be exactly what we need to take down all the mobs from the nether. But I've got a solution for that that's gonna save us. Go into our inventory, get ourselves a crafting table set up, and we're gonna use this bedrock remnants for one more recipe that is dangerous. Place an arrow in the center of the crafting table and surround it with bedrock remnants and we're going to get a bedrock arrow. This thing's dangerous. This thing's dangerous. Careful, folks. Careful. Let's get as much of these as we can get. I got six arrows. Now, we can use these arrows like normal, and it's not their true power. Get the chickens. If there's a lot of you guys. I missed the chicken. I literally missed the chicken. Get out of here. Boom! Got him. Straight away, 
nuked. But these bedrock arrows are strong. We can take this arrow and find the sun. Load this arrow up. There's no going back from this. Fire it up. Here it is. Boom! <laughs> we just broke the sun. Let's go and take down some nether mobs. Or we could see if we could just destroy the sun all the way. What happens if we do it? One more arrow. Oh gosh, guys, this third arrow might do it. Do we do it? Do we not do it? Leave a comment down below right now. I think we break it. I think we break it, guys. We're gonna break it. We're gonna break it. We're gonna break it. Hopefully it doesn't delete my computer. Third arrow. Three, two, one, fire. Oh! The power of the sun burns too hot for a mere mortal? What? No, 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 oh my gosh, what, oh, what in the world just happened?